what's the hassle for what is the hassle for i don't want to put up a video and go home and cannot sleep hi friends welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be here once again if you're new here my name is trisha king and to all my returning friends i love you i heart you thank you so much without taking much of your time let's just jump right into the video so in today's video from the title you can already tell what we're going to talk about this is not a clickbait this is actually how i feel <laughs> this is how i feel i think i'm just about to leave youtube <laughs> you serious yes this is not a clickbait because i didn't know nobody told me that youtube is like this i mean before joining youtube um i thought it would just be an easy thing but let me just go straight to the point without taking much of your time. In my last video, I talked about, I reacted to a um, post that I found on Instagram by Solomon Bucci, where I talked about wives are not slaves or servants. They are your partner. I was talking to the men. And in that video, I was very passionate about what I was talking about. Those of you who saw the video can attest to that. I mean, now I have had to put that video on private because of what i'm going to tell you now so if you didn't see that video unfortunately you can't see it again i was meant to come back with a part two but i've lost the zeal to do that i mean i know you're going to think oh because of what you know why are you taking the video down let me tell you so basically well i have i have a subscriber who watches my video and her daughter attends the same school as my daughter they are both in the same class so stephanie came back from school and she was like mommy did you make a video about wives not being servants or slaves? I was shocked because Stephanie didn't see that video. I said, um, yes, why? She then told me that her friend said to her that I do not like Donald. And that's the reason why I made that video. So I said, who told her? Like, you know, who told her that? And she goes, her mommy told her that. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? Is social media a place where people can no longer express opinions? People can no longer talk about issues. People can only talk about what they want you to hear or show you that part of their life that they want you to see. When people come out to give their own opinion, it's like you are being judged for giving your own opinion. I mean, it's really, really sad. I felt really bad and pained. So I had to explain to my daughter that it is not what it is. I just had to explain because I feel like she's too young to go into such conversation. And of course, being the kind of person that I am, I, you know, fortunately I have the lady's number. So I contacted her and I said, look, this is what your daughter said to Stephanie at school. You know, what do you have to say about it? And she goes, oh, you know, um, I didn't say that. And I said, so did you watch the video with your daughter? For her to have you know come up with such talks because she said that you said <laughs> you said that you said that i do not like donald and that is why i made that video even when i was speaking to donald about it i had to say look this is this is that and of course good goodness gracious donald understands what social media is all about he understands youtube so he didn't take it personal or anything like that but i just feel so sad and so um I've never felt like this before. I've always thought I'm brave. I've, I've always thought, you know, I'm, I'm that strong. But this really hit me. And then not only that, there was a comment on the video that also said, oh, you know, they don't understand the part about me talking about women receiving salaries from their husbands when they have to stay at home and look after the children. And I'm thinking, and then he also said, the person also said I should make a video talking about women who also treat men badly. And I'm thinking like literally what's that for i mean so i can no longer express an opinion i can no longer 
say things without people reading meanings into every little thing you say every time you come out to talk about an issue and with the kind of niche that i operate now or i am into now i have to talk about issues that affect our everyday lives and then people begin to think or imagine things that you're talking about your own partner or you're talking about someone that you know i mean i'm one who just likes to do my thing i don't get involved in you know saga videos like you know come out and talk about people i just Let's talk about things that I think that affect our everyday lives. And with that topic that I made, not a lot of women can talk about it. And they go through things like this on a daily basis, but they cannot talk about it. And when you come out as a voice, people read so many, so many meanings into these kind of things. And I feel like I am tired. Literally, I'm not going to lie to you guys. You, I mean, you're seeing me right now at my lowest point. A, a lot of people see me as bold and confident, but I also have feelings, okay? I am tired of having to think about everything I say, think about what I do just to make sure that I'm validated in front of people. If I talk about a particular topic, it's not for you to go and say, oh, she's talking about her husband. Donald is subscribed to my channel, so he sees my videos. So, I mean, I don't understand why people would then think that I have made that video to spite my own husband. And also, I've been going through a lot mentally. There are other things that I'm dealing with. I'm starting a course very soon. There are lots of things that I am dealing with right now. And I just feel like I need a break. When I leave this place today... <laughs> I'll go and think about it. I mean, I mean, I'm at the verge of leaving. I'm thinking, what's the hassle for? What is the hassle for? I don't want to put up a video and go home and cannot sleep because of what people would say. I know that I have to get to the point. Like, look at me, little me, with just less than, I mean, a handful of subscribers and hardly any views and going through this. Just imagine when I am bigger, what would happen? So I'm going to have to make a decision either now or after the end of this video as to whether i really want to continue with youtube i mean the only thing is just be brave be strong take the lemons and make lemonades out of it do not care what people think what people say as long as your conscience is clear i mean that's what matters but seriously i am considering leaving this platform because i mean there is nothing, I, I cannot live that kind of life of not being able to express myself because I don't want people to think of me in a certain way. Mm -mm, that's not, that's not, that's not me. That's not my kind of person. So yes, I thought I'll just come out to share this. I had to take that video down, put it on private because I didn't want, I didn't want my daughter to go back and see that and then think about, you know, what they've said to her at school. That really broke my heart. I really, really broke my heart. And I, I didn't hide it from the lady. I said, really, I'm really, really disappointed in the fact that your daughter watched that video with you. And you said that if you did, well, she said she didn't say that, but I believe her because sometimes kids are funny in the way they talk. They, she might have just misunderstood her mom, but it is what it is. So I thought I'd come up here and share. Content creator and you feel like this, I'd love to know. Do you ever feel like you are on a guard? Friends, <laughs> truly nobody told me that social media is like this but anyways actually you know what we ain't going anywhere not letting anyone kill my vibes no way we stay here okay i'll leave it here let me know what you think and of course definitely i'll see you in my next video love you bye